spinning round. Oh, wow. <laughs> Friends of mine have told me, Howard, for someone who animates for a living, you don't watch many animations. You don't binge a lot of anime series. You don't go to watch the latest DreamWorks, Pixar, Disney sequel. Why don't you consume vast quantities of mainstream animation? Firstly, that takes a lot of time, and I spend more time consuming reference. Reference and inspiration I separate into two different categories typically, and reference I usually look at real life things that might be documentaries, it might be just video footage that I think will inform my, my animation that I'm working on. But also with inspiration I find an obscure little animated segment from like an animator no one has heard of it can be enough to fuel me for a long time, for months, for inspiration as something to like really get the fire in me going. This is a good example of one of those inspiring tiny pieces of animation. This is like a short film that's like a minute long by Mehdi Alibegi, a name you've probably never heard of. I had never heard of him. I feel like this guy, he's animating on a different dimension. He takes these two motifs, if you like, Cristiano Ronaldo, famous football player, striker, and literally the number seven, like the shape of the number seven. And it's amazing what he's able to come up with with those two things. I've got a scene from this short piece of animation loaded into TV Paint. I'm gonna draw on top of it. Let's just see what we discover by combing through frame by frame, because this is a very intricate and very well-polished piece of animation. By well-polished, I don't mean that it's highly rendered. I mean that it's simplified and just perfected. Delicious piece of animation. It's really, really nice. So we start with these abstract shapes. Let's just comb our way through it. Let's go through very simple grayscale color palette. Two elements at play. We've got the light and the dark. The dark being more like outlines. This white is uh, it's kind of bouncing up and down like a ball, but with these streaks. Okay, we've got these shapes just kind of circling each other. We had a star motif there, and these kind of diagonal shapes like this, just like the number seven. And now swirling into place, and here is our man. And look at these proportions, fantastic. Very much inspired by the number seven in that kind of, that lean. And it's kind of folded a bit like origami. This white will be complementing, it will be serving in the background and you'll see it take on familiar shapes. Sometimes it will be a stadium. Sometimes it will be the goalpost. Sometimes it will be the, the highlights on the character. I just love this construction already. And we've got this wonderful straight line. It's all built out of these kind of straight angular shapes. It's got a great eye for design. Head, neck, shoulder, all one straight line. Brilliant, I love that. This has got this kind of neck. And you know what, let me, um, let me just look up Cristiano Ronaldo. Let's just see. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, like he does have this kind of shape to him where he, as an athlete, you know, athletes have these quite thick necks compared to the, the size of their head. He's got a very shaved sides of his head. So he does have that line that goes from the neck all the way up to the corner of the head. So he's captured it very well. Let's keep going through. Okay, let's see, let's see what these white lines are doing. They've now taken on the stripes of the pitch. Look at these smears. So not your conventional motion blurs. He's not doing my thing of like, you know, just these, these kind of striation lines. No, he's, he's actually smearing them so that the shape is changed. When he goes, when the leg moves fast, the shape will actually expand just like a smear. Okay, so he's paying close attention to the reference here. I'm sure he's got reference for these things. Oh, look at that. Look at these shapes. This one's now independent. A bit like what I uh, showed you with the Golvo animation. He's taking these liberties, and I love where these liberties work their way into these figures. Oh yeah. Nice double round the world. Just keeping it up. Ah, it's brilliant. You look at that easing. Really nice, easing on. Little lines extend from the stumps of the feet. You see, attention to detail here. 
picks the foot up, and we can see that he's picked the foot up. We've got a very flat backdrop here. The shadow is a really nice indication. It's showing us that he's not sweeping his, he's not moving his foot in, he's picking it up. And we can see that from the shadow. When he leans back, we've got this lovely geometric shape here, creating a cast shadow. That's just held there for a number of frames. He just holds it there. Yeah, moving it. Oh, look at that. Popping the shoulder out. Lovely straight angular line. And look at that from the armpit down to the knee. Look at that proportion as well. That's the lower leg. It's just ingenious. This guy is on a different dimension to us. He's just playing by his own rules. Okay, so pops it up onto the back, but is it the back or is it the front, you see? Oh, he's just playing, he's playing with us, man. It's the chest again. He just, he just changes it to be the chest. So beautiful. He's got it held there. Okay, so we get the idea by now, we don't need a repetition in there. It's time for him to do something new. So he takes it back to this refresh thing. I talked about this idea with the Golvo animation. Abstract settings, the idea of a refresh. He's still, what do we do now? We can do whatever we want. Let's just break down. So look at this, he just comes apart and it kind of reminds me of like Transformers, you know when the Transformers in Michael Bay's Transformers transform? And then they adopt the same pose. But what happened here? Things just shifted around, right? His arm goes up just like a ball and goes back into the ball. Uh, another part of his other arm does the same thing. And then he's back. You see, wham, like that. Now, if we play that, let me just play that at full speed so you can see it. It's just a little shimmer, it's a little shake, a little abstract dance. Now it's going up. Lovely little demonstration, look at that. At this bit, it was one of my favorite bits. It's when he starts to rotate. And it's because of the motif of the number seven. He worked out that if you have this number seven shape like this, you can just kind of spin it on its axis. Look at that, <laughs> spinning around. Oh, wow. <laughs> the stripes are indicating that the top half is spinning, the legs are just staying the same. Um, it's just shapes, it's, play, it's so playful. He's playing with shapes, playing with these concepts. Look at this, look, he goes from that, falls there, and then instead of just turning around normally, oh, Half of him twists one way, the other half twists the other way and it works perfectly. The shapes just melt. Oh, look at that. So we've now got the white lines as kind of background taking the place of the environment. So we see the goal and we get this lovely little camera movement here. A lot of the depth and the camera shift is indicated with the neck and the shoulders. Look at that. Look at what is going on here. Wow. What, what is that? It's like a, a form of multiples of some kind. You get this thing that's just uh, taken off of him, subtracted from him. Okay. I won't keep you in suspense. Let's see what happens next. Does a little kick up. He's got it up and then, oh, look at this. Seven, you see it? That's kind of a seven as well. Sevens is the motif. And then, wham, look at the stretch on that. Wow. Let's just go back a bit and I'll play that for you. Bam. Look at him come into view. So it starts with a dot. We can see these are hand-drawn lines, you know, very simple hand-drawn lines. It's what he's doing with the lines that's so impressive. Dot turns to a slightly more complex. So here it's, it's still very simple. Now it's gaining more as a silhouette. These are all really nice silhouettes. They're just gaining in detail as he gets closer. This square is representing the perspective as well of the pitch of the box. The penalty box, is it? Yep, there we go. Oh, lovely leap. Look at this stretch. Ah, oh, brilliant. Lovely number seven type shapes in his own particular style. And I love how this is deciding to not make full width. Perhaps this is because it's meant to be mobile friendly, I don't know, but it seems to work that he's just concerned with the stuff in this box shape. 
levels, man. Dimensions. This guy's working on a different dimension. Oh, look at that stretch here in anticipation. His head is going that way. You can tell he's doing one of those headers from a corner kick. Bam, like that. Whammy. And now we got this little, oh yeah, look at that. You see the corner here rotating around. We've got this 3D camera movement. We can tell, we can feel the camera movement with just this minimal information. He's giving us just enough to know what's going on. And then, bang. And look at that, and now we got the spinning seven. Woo! Oh man, okay, let me see that again. What a dynamic header. Look at this shape here. Great shapes. It's so confident with the shapes. Everything is conforming to this shape language. It's so dang pleasing. That is one of my favorite run cycles of all time. I, I don't know, I struggle to think of one that's that original and that's, that's, that's smart, it's just so clever. I'm a big fan of this animation. This animation gets me fired up. It's got about 700 views on YouTube right now. It is a hidden gem. I'm gonna link it in the description. Thankfully as well, Mehdi actually uploaded a making of series for this where he shows some of his rough pencil lines process to get to this point which is very illuminating so i'm going to link that as well in the description for you and it's time for my plug if you want to make animations of your own mastering motion is an advanced online animation course designed to train you in techniques that go far beyond the principles of 2d animation advanced techniques like 3d hand-drawn camera movement fight choreography effects animation, character animation, as well as my reference process. If that sounds a bit too advanced for you, if you're a beginner, then I've got you covered as well with my Getting Started in 2D Animation course. This one lays the foundations of everything you need to make your own animated films. That includes drawing principles, animation principles, storyboarding principles, and the rendering process and this is all in one place. You No need to hunt down obscure videos in distant corners of the internet. We build you up with animation exercises that grow in complexity as you learn more. It's a course that will help you to develop the ability to fully realize on the screen whatever crazy ideas are going on in your head. Go to animatorguild.com to learn more about these. The link is in the description and pinned in the top comment of this video. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if you like, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.